Hello viewers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So still on our training on Cisco Packet Tracer. In today's video, we'll be looking at the device configuration tabs. So we have different tabs used in configuring our devices. But we'll be looking at the four major and most used tabs. The first is the physical tab. The second is the config or configuration tab. The third is the CLI or command line interface tab and the last that we'll be looking at today is the desktop tab the physical tab now the physical tab provides an interface for interacting with the device including powering it on or off or installing different modules such as wireless network interface card NIC okay so let's look at this in package tracer so let's get a device, maybe say a switch. Uh, okay, let's have a router too. So this is the physical tab of a switch. Okay, let me use a router to do this demonstration so that we can have more options. So let's click on this router. So if you watch, we are under physical tab. Okay, so this is the physical tab of a Cisco router. Now, if you watch under here, we have different modules that we can install on this router. Okay, so let me zoom this in a little bit. Okay, so from here, we have different ports and we have an expansion slot here. So on this expansion slot, we can install whatever kind of module we need. So if we click on any module here, we are going to see the description here and also the type of module which we have clicked. In this part of the screen okay so for example let me click uh, this glc t okay so you will see the description of this particular module and also it will appear down here okay so we can also click on other ones and see the effects all right now if we want to have more computers connected to this router we need more switching ports okay so Come to this part and select a particular module and it will appear down here. Okay, so if I try to install this module, I'm going to have an error. Cannot add a module when the power is on. So for us to be able to install a new module to this router, we need to switch off the router. How do we do this? Okay, so from here, use this scroll bar and search for the on button. Okay, so this is the on button here. So if you watch, this light is showing up green. So that means the router is off. All right. So for me to be able to turn it off, I'm going to click on the zero. So it's now off. So we can come back and install our module. So once you are done with that, you can install more than two modules. All right. So once you are done with that, come back here and turn your device on. Okay. So this router is back on and we'll have more ports to connect our system okay so the next tab is the config tab now for intermediate devices such as routers and switches there are two ways to assess device configuration configuration can be assessed via the configure tab which is also known as GUI that is the graphics user interface and also configuration can also be assessed using the command line interface which is a CLI, okay? So I'll be explaining the config tab, then I'll come back to the CLI tab. Now using the same device, our router, click on it. Now let's go to the config or configuration tab. Now under the config or configuration tab, we have the global, the routing, the switching and the interface tabs okay so under the global we have the settings so once you click on the settings we're going to see the display name the host name the nvram the startup config and the running config all right so the display name is just the name which is displaying physically on your router okay so if i add uh, an option like nick it says take Okay, and save. So it's going to take effect here. So the host name is the name used to identify your device. 
on the network okay so this particular router whose name is router aa so we can change it to uh say router one save okay so once we do that the host name is going to change automatically okay the nvram is the ram at which all your devices are being saved on okay so we have the startup config and the running config so under routing we have our static route and rip okay so static route means us configuring a routing protocol for our router statically while the rib is a dynamic way of configuring routing on the router okay so we're going to be seeing uh, these configurations as we progress in this training okay so we have switching and also we have different interface now so these are all the interfaces we have on this router so we'll talk more on interface as we progress so next is the cli cli stands for command line interface the cli tab provides access to the command line interface of a cisco device Using the CLI tab requires knowledge of device configuration with iOS. Here, you can practice configuring Cisco devices at the command line. CLI configuration is a necessary skill for more advanced networking implementation. Let's get back to packet tracing. Now, if we go back to our router, so let's click on CLI. Now, this is the command line interface of this router okay so here we can do different configurations say changing of the host name okay so we can say like a uh, host name let's say m2 okay so if you watch the host name have changed automatically okay so we can give our ip address we can change interface interface g0 slash zero okay Okay, so we don't have this interface here. We can check how many interfaces we have on this router. Say, show, do show, IP interface brief. Okay, so we can see the different interfaces we have here. Okay, so we can enter any of the interface. Say, interface G0 uh, slash 0 slash 0, right? so we are on the interface of g0 slash 0 so we've seen basic and advanced configurations we can do using this cli in our future videos stay updated now the last tab for today is the desktop tab for some end devices such as pcs and laptops package tracer provides a desktop interface and gives you access to IP configuration, wireless configuration, a command prompt, a web browser, and other applications. Let's go back to our Cisco Packet Tracer environment. So using a PC, let's get a PC here. So PC or laptop, let's click on this PC. Now, coming here to the desktop tab, we'll see different tabs that we can use to configure our desktop such as the ip configuration dial up terminals command prompt web browser and so on and so forth so for example if we want to assign an ip address to our pc we can use this ip configuration tab and also if we want to see the ip address we assign to this pc we can use the command prompt let's check this so given an ip address to our pc click on ip configuration so let's say uh, 172.20.10.9 okay so subnet mask 255.255.0.0 okay so let's leave the configuration this way remember there are other things you can configure here like the gateway dns ipv6 and so on okay so but for this tutorial we'll be ending just with the ip address and the subnet mask so close this let's check the ip address we have given to this pc come to command prompt now the command is ip config enter okay so this is the ip address we give and this is the subnet mask okay remember there are many commands you can run using this command prompt 
like trace route, app command, getting the IP address of any website at all. We'll be covering this in our future videos. Stay tuned. Don't miss out on any of this series. We'll be going advanced soon. Thank you guys. Please don't forget to give this video a like. And if you're interested in this series and you don't want to miss any part of this series, subscribe to my channel and click on the notification button so that you'll be notified whenever I drop a new video. See you guys in my next video.